Today we're going to have a look at a home charging solution, specifically the Litokala LII600. Now there's a couple of different models made by the same company and I specifically chose this one because it has a couple of functions the others don't. Uh, specifically the repair and it also supports an absolute wide variety of cells as you can see. The unit itself is fairly compact. These are double A cells in there right now. And uh, it has a multifunction display, which uh, goes to standby pretty quick. You can reactivate it by just touching anywhere. Switching between modes is pretty easy. Now you can change the mode from auto to manual by pushing and holding the current button and it'll flip over. And then you can also change uh, the different current settings that you want anywhere from from 250 and in the case of this cell I can go up to 1000. If you do put an 18650 cell in there or any type of lithium cell it'll let you go higher as well. To switch in between is pretty easy you just tap on whichever cell that you're looking at changing the settings for. Now it does also show you the C rate of the cell. I don't know if this is accurate and I don't know how accurate the internal resistance is either. But as far as charger goes, uh, it's a solid charger. To switch between the modes, you've got your charge mode. You have a discharge mode. You've got a test function and a repair function. The repair function is good for if you have a cell that's totally dead. You chuck, this, uh, chuck it in there and this will give it a really slow charge to see if it can get your cell back to life. The discharge function, I'm not sure why anybody would use just this on its own. Uh, you can measure a cell, but I find the best way to do it is just to go to test. And what it's going to do is it's going to first charge that cell right up to full. Then it's going to bring it down to the lowest safe parameter. Then it'll charge it back up for you. And it'll let you know uh, on the milliamp display there what that cell actually has for life. Now, when I compare it to my trusty Nightcore, I've had this uh, D4 charger uh, since forever, and it's still a solid charger. Both are a good choice, in my opinion, to go with. If you do want a repair function, or if you want to put larger cells in there than uh, in 18650, the Nightcore is going to hold you back, whereas this one will take the larger cells. The Nightcore also does not have the same amount of charge current available that the Lido Kala does. This one will go up to 3000 and I think the night core is tapped out at 750. So I wouldn't let the charge current deter you from buying either of the two chargers. They're both great chargers. If you're looking for something that's going to do a little bit more uh, variety of cells, probably the Lido Kala or if you want the repair function or the test function. And that's kind of why I started with this thing. I often rip apart battery packs and I've got a bunch of uh, different uh, cells that I've pull out of any tool batteries and it's kind of nice to know if that cell is any good still. What I'll do with them is after I test them I'll just write a number on the cell of what it actually has for milliamps available. If you're just looking to buy one or buy a charger I would go with the Lido Kala. They're very similarly priced at this point in time and you do have that way of measuring your cells to see where they are where you don't have that with the Nightcore. The Nightcore is strictly a charger so that's it's a little bit more of a do-it-all and because it's a similar price point you might as well go with the one that's going to provide you with more functionality. This way if you do suspect that you have a battery that's kind of exceeded its life expectancy you put it on the charger, put it in the test function and every cell that you have has a milliamp rating. So it's very easy to see where the cell is in its lifespan. So far, by the way, the uh, Antelopes are still one of my go-to cells. I really like these things. Now there is one limitation of this device and that is the discharge rate. For a really high draw cell, you will not be able to test if that cell is capable of still producing what it did when it was new. So that is the only downfall or the only drawback of that one. And then one little pet peeve of it, the Nightcore is perfectly silent when it's operational. 
unlike my birds, they're not silent at all when they're operational. <laughs> now, the only other downside or small drawback, if you even want to call it that, is the Nightcore is perfectly silent. The Lido Kala, maybe there's a way to turn off the beeper. I just haven't found it yet. But it's got a pretty loud beep. If you're going to be throwing cells on here and having it in your bedroom, two things will annoy you. The lights are very bright, the indicator lights, and that beep will drive you nuts. So put it in an inconspicuous location. Small, small gripe. I guess it could be a good thing too, depending on... I, it's helpful at times as well. If I'm charging a bunch of cells, the beep is nice because then I know I can put the next batch in. So whatever, take with it, do with it what you will. Bulletproof charger, discharger, battery tester, kind of an all-in-one unit. Very pleased with it, very happy. I've been using it now for about three months on a variety of different cells, uh, AA's, AAA's, 18650s, 2700s, and a variety of different spec 18650 cells. So uh, it's done well with everything. I think I'm most pleased that the auto function is providing a what I feel is a nice safe charge current and it's a faster charge current than the night core as well. So I'm happy with the device. I'll recommend it. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. I'll also leave a link to the night core. It's a good charger. If you're just looking for, like I said, a flat, just smaller charger, the night core is going to fill that need for you. I'm not sure the current pricing of either, but uh, a quick click on the link and you can see what's, what's what if you're considering either of them.